What is up, my flawlessly kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we got Sweetie back in the click today, you guys. And the reason why she's back in the click is because Quavo just did a song called Messy with Takeoff. Now, in the lyrics, it definitely spilled the beans. Not only did it spill the beans, but it took some major shots at Carisha, also Sweetie. Now, there has been late rumors that Sweetie slept with Offset, but we don't really know what's going on because we didn't get no receipts. However, with with Quavo's lyrics, it kind of put two and two together. But then it also got a little confusing because if you guys do not remember, fans put two and two together and then called out Saweetie for being with Lil Baby. And as y'all know, that Lil Baby and Quavo Offset and everybody's underneath the same label. Now, I don't even know if Offset is still under that label, but I do know they have been having major beef back and forth, him and P. So we don't know about that, but let's get straight back into the lyrics. It says, I said Car Carisha, please, cause she too messy. Be effed my dog behind my back, but I ain't stressing. Now that's crazy. Now, if this is definitely true that it is offset, that would be an ultimate betrayal to Cardi B because they are actually legally married. So that would really be a f up situation. Now, this only brings me back to that elevator scene that went viral and they try to say that Saweetie and Quavo had a domestic violence situation, which that wasn't the case. He was just trying to leave and she was trying to stop him. But now I can't help but think, was that the time that he found out she was cheating? I don't know, Click. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all really feel about that. I'd love to know your thoughts. But I definitely want to get straight into these lyrics because if you see right here, it said, BF my dog behind my back but i ain't stressing you wanted the gang you should have just said it we would have blessed it hold up oh, hold up wait a minute wow Ooh. i'm telling you if i was sweetie i would be super embarrassed that he just sat here and dropped them lines like that but anywho she dropped some lines as well and her music before so it's only right that he did what he did but at the end of the day some people are saying the reality of Saweetie's situation most likely Quavo was being spiteful and capitalizing on social media rumor because he don't F with Saweetie no offset anymore. It's creating traction for that song. Now, Click, I do believe that that could be the case, but I guess we'll never find out unless somebody kiss and tell. So y'all let me know what y'all feel about that. Now, JT and Young Miami laughed at this on Twitter. Now, Click, Nicki Minaj even entered the chat and said, child, child is right because this person said, Nikki, stop, because you let Quavo hit it to nah. Disrespect Nikki Minaj? What? Anywho, click, I don't know what to really tell y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all really feel about this. This is really messy. But I just have to move on to this next topic because I gagged when I realized that we got Blueface back in the click today, you guys. And we also got Krishan Rock. Now, I know y'all tired of that, but I gotta do what I gotta do because this is the job that I chose. Anywho, Krishan retweeted Blueface tweet that said, this B ain't going nowhere on the set. Now, Krishan replied and said, I ain't a B, daddy. Shut up, bitch. See, click, this the type of bird brain rock tard shit I be talking about. We love a good hood love story. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Pure ignorance at its best. Now, if you guys do not know, Krishan was actually in Oklahoma last night filming with Zeus Network because y'all know they still got that little bum show coming out but Blueface was actually in Las Vegas Nevada last night so they were not together like Blueface really got exactly what he truly wanted he wanted to be able to get her money have control and be able to do whatever the f he want to do without her up his ass now, I know a lot of you thought that he was definitely talking to Krishan Rock, but he actually was not. And Krishan Rock thought he was talking to her, but he was most definitely talking about his baby mother, Jaden Alexis, because she mentioned that she was going on a date. She also said, hey, bae, and all this other stuff. You could tell she probably was doing that to get him upset, but it definitely worked because shortly after she put that video up of her making the coffee and making those comments, he wrote that tweet. Now, y'all already know I make my reservations, and y'all know we most definitely going to talk about it y'all take a look okay so don't mind the fact that i look like i'm from pirates of the caribbean right now i can't find my edge controls so this will have to do we're making coffee 
and I have something to tell you guys. So, your girl might be going on a date this weekend. And I'm not really that nervous for the date, it's more I am finding an outfit. Like, what do you mean? What am I gonna wear? And, um, babe, if you see this, hey. I hope you don't though, because that's embarrassing, but yeah i don't know what to wear like what i'm supposed to wear like i don't know i don't be doing too much and like you know but yeah i just wanted to tell you guys that and let you see my coffee because your girl needs coffee and i feel like being extra today and adding whipped cream great i don't know why i just had a craving for whipped cream but And that's bad. You know what the sad part about this situation is? How is it that Blueface could do it, but when she do it, it's a problem? He could do whatever he want to do, and I don't like the fact that he just even came out his face being very controlling, saying that B ain't going nowhere, and you call her out her name. It's a big no for me. Now, Blueface has always been a red flag at the end of the day, but the point that I'm trying to make is I really hope that these two really open their eyes and stop wasting their time on somebody like him. He is not worth it. Uh, the money don't matter. Like, and what makes me even more mad about Krishan is because, girl, you got money now. But anywho, she ended up going live with her little brother, Petey, and talked about how she has court today and after she's going to court tomorrow, she will be in Baltimore because she wants to spend time with her mother to get away from a mental break, away from all this extra stuff. Oh, uh, shit, we just had conditioning. Now I'm on my way home for the weekend. We got bye week. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> I don't got no game. I'm going home. What, Baltimore? Yeah. I'm going to be there. When? Come on. Yeah, I got to pack my s***. I got court in a couple hours. Welcome to see mommy. Yeah, me too. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. <clears throat> What's up, Petey? What's good? It'll get me right. What? We like a boy. Like I dropped a boat or something. Huh? Boy, shut up. I'm gonna with my brother. Come take this motherfucking tag off me. <coughs> Where you at? What you doing? Who, me? Yeah. Who, me? Yeah, you, nigga. <clears throat> I told you, I'm, I'm getting ready. I'm packing my shit up. I'm ready to go. I'm in PA right now. I'm ready to go tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. Me too. I go out to court. I was going to go to Vegas, but I'm, I got to take a break from that fast life shit. So I'm going to come home. Yeah, we're that Hollywood shit, you mean? Yeah it's, not, it's, yeah, it's not going to be no good. I'm going to start to, like, two down. Mm -hmm. Plus, I could just see Mommy chill with Mookie. Just be regular for a second. <laughs> huh? What'd you say? No, I ain't say nothing. I'm still in my shit. Rewind. I text Spooky like, hey, bro. 
Now, Click, I definitely do think it's a great idea for Krishan to go spend time with her mother and one of her siblings that she actually get along with. I really hope that no drama does transpire because at this moment, we don't need her to be out there drinking neither. She does need a break. Now, y'all did hear her say that she was going to go to Las Vegas after court. I don't think that's a good idea. I think that separation is needed permanently. And in her case, she's with him. They got this show going on. So I feel like everybody was in her ear probably like listen let's do this y'all already know zeus don't care about nobody's life or nobody's feeling they only care about their pockets because honestly if i was the ceo of zeus i would cut that show asap as a matter of fact i would never give them a show so it's just all over the place that's this is just really ugh. anyways y'all let me know what y'all feel about that in the comments below i'd love to know your thoughts but i definitely want to move straight back on to ari back in the click today you guys because recently she talked about her losing her savage x fenty dip in response to her domestic violence disrespect that she gave on live. Now, she talked about her losing $150,000. And she also talked about speaking to her friend Mona on the podcast saying that she was just joking around. But I beg to differ because when she spoke about her being turned on by a man pulling out a gun and wanting to shoot her, she was just smiling and talking about it like as if that's just what she loves. And she just likes toxic love, which is a lot of females out here who does love toxic love she just was basically doing damage control on this impact show but i feel like especially when she said she said some things but she just wanted to let people know that she don't really care what they're saying girl you didn't give a f period like this irritates me that they even brought this back up on the impact because now we're gonna really talk about you got it punished I did. <laughs> I got punished the hard way. I did an interview with my friend Mona. I said something about like a like choking me or grabbing a gun or something. But it was like we was joking around. I used to pack my up like I'm leaving you throwing breaking fighting and then like now you got to stop me from leaving. But I was never going nowhere. You talk to me. Like, pull your gun out and show me like leave. I wish you would walk out the door. He's from Chicago. You folks. already pull your gun out. <laughs> I'm finna just sit down because I got a son. I'm not trying to die. I got a son. So I'm only staying because I got a son. I don't want you to shoot me. People was coming like about domestic violence and like, oh, why would you say this? What I did was I got on live like, I don't give a f da -da, you know, not meaning I don't give a f about domestic violence, but just like, I don't give a f about what y'all talking about. Let's start there. That's one. Two, y'all are in the comments like, oh, when I was um in a relationship, this boy put out. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody, nobody cares about what happened to you, what trauma you had. Nobody cares. This is you trying to victimize yourself and use this. Oh, like this, this. Yeah, don't worry about my wig. Yes, child. Anyway, like please, like please. You in the comments, you telling your stories about nobody cares. We do not care. We don't care. We don't care. We do not care at all. Like, we don't care. We don't care. We don't. We just don't care. One time my boyfriend, so what? So what? And now what? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Y'all trying to victim. You, you want to be a victim so bad? Why you want to be a victim so bad? I know I look crazy. Y'all don't worry. But like... We don't, we do not, I swear, I promise to Jesus, we do not care. Like, not this much. We don't care. Mm -mm. Why y'all trying to victimize yourself and make the, oh, guns. And this is something else too with myself that I need to check. Like, stop just reacting. For real, when I lost my page, I lost the Savage Fancy deal because of that for like $150,000. Now, Click, even though this is eight months old, I still feel like I do not like the way that she narrated this. I don't like the way that she explained herself when it comes to the situation because women are dying every day. Somebody is dying right now as we speak from domestic violence. And this is not a game. It's not a joke. So her comments was extremely ignorant, extremely disrespectful and heartless. And all she could say was that she was joking about the comments that she made about the gun and the fact that she was just talking to people who she don't care what they gotta say well the people that had 
to say was actual victims who were disrespected, who were hurt, who were harmed from somebody that they were dating, who did pull out guns on them, who did intimidate them. So the fact that she didn't own up to it and say, you know what? I was being ignorant. And those things that I said was not okay. It was wrong. And I know that it's wrong. You want to sit here and say, oh, it was a joke. And I just really meant, I don't care what people talking. And honestly, click for that. I can't respect nobody like that. I don't care. I would never meet her. I would never see her, but I don't like like that. In that moment, she was most definitely serious. That is how she felt. That was her feelings at that time. She didn't care or think about the backlash she would have received. I mean, let's keep it real. Anybody who loses a $150,000 deal, you would be the one saying that you was joking too, huh? Shame on for you. I am covered by the blood. Anywho, click y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about this. I'd love to know your thoughts. On the road to 100K, we are growing rapidly every day. I love you flawlessly, kings and queens. Definitely make sure you guys are subscribing to my backup YouTube channel. Definitely will be dropping the video as soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers. I love you guys so much. See you guys in the next upload. Bye!